You ever drove past this tractor supply and wondered what's in that building? I know I have. Maybe you haven't even drove past a tractor supply or you don't even know what it is because you you don't live by farms. Moo! Nay! Oink! I've drove past a tractor supply many times and today we're gonna find out what, what's in this place. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, I feel like most people don't know. So I feel like it'll be interesting for everyone because nobody goes in there. Ah! Uh. But there's always cars in the parking lot, but they aren't real, I'm guessing. So we're gonna see if real people are there or if it's just sim people. What I do know without looking at my computer is that tractor supply is where you buy agricultural shit or where you buy stuff to feed animals. Or you can oh, also really? buy animals there, I think. There's just cows back there? <laughs> no, like like chicks and shit. Oh my god, I'm excited! A little petting zoo! Other than that, I just want to know. I, I just am curious, legit. This is the farmer version of Walmart, basically. Yeah. Do you got any overalls for us to wear? <laughs> just kidding, that'd be appropriating farmer culture. Is that actually a thing? Yeah. Howdy ho! Also, our mom goes to tractor supply, so... Wait, she I does? feel safe there. Yeah, yeah, she um gets corn for the animals in her backyard. I swear she hides it because I had no idea she went there. She's a tractor supply person. It's like a secret part of her life. I had no idea. And she's even ordered online before and there's a guy that brings it to her car. Oh my God. Little tractor supply girl. Should we go then? <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> to get in the mood, we listen to Jason Aldean's song called Big Green Tractor. Big Green Tractor, we can go fast. Yeah, my body, my brand new tractor. This tractor supply is absolutely huge. And yeah, I was actually gonna say like huge like a dick, but that's not even funny. I don't really find inappropriate jokes funny. The store starts in the parking lot. There were some trailers for rent, and also there was a trailer to buy. If I remember correctly, it was $1,300 or something like that for a trailer, which I would say is pretty reasonable. It's kind of a car in a way. Kinda. Honestly, I don't need a trailer, but since I'm such a consumer, I was kind of thinking, wait, do I need a trailer? You kind of get what I'm saying. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like, why not? There was also what I'm assuming was like chicken wire in the corner, just like, to wrap your chickens in, you know, so they don't escape. And then there was buttloads of fertilizers, I'm assuming, mulch, stuff to feed your animals, uh, maybe some wattle saffron or two. Something that I just noticed is that they have a bunch of line around these wheelbarrows, and I think it's because that keeps people from stealing them. I always wonder, like, how don't people steal this shit in the middle of the night? But maybe that wire helps. Wow. Right before you walk into the store, there's a bunch of riding lawnmowers. I spent a lot of my teenage years riding one of those in my parents' acreage. By acreage, I mean it was two acres, but still. Yeah. Um, so I sometimes would lawn mow as like a chore. Um, but anyway, once you walked into Tractor Supply- Why was that so slow? <laughs> but once you walk inside this store, I feel like we've all smelled this smell. It's like a pet food smell, like an Earl May smell. I don't even think Earl Mays are everywhere. It's just a certain smell that I loved. This brought me back to like down home acreage vibes. The city slickers watching won't understand what I mean, but <gasps> yeah. We first saw the clothing section, which we realized everything there was from the brand Cowhout. It's a construction brand, I'm pretty sure, but now it's like cool to wear Cowhout. I just wanted to mention that because that's kind of like funny, you know? I actually just bought a Carthart shirt on ASOS. So I'm like with the trends. Are you? <laughs> Get with it or you'll be left behind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know this is tractor supply culture, but these glasses are even kind of becoming like a chic thing to wear. It's just funny how like that works, you know? I'm gonna come here later and buy a few clothes because they had cool ass long sleeves, cool ass short sleeves. One thing I did notice was that they didn't have skinny jean fit. 
which some could say is homophobic and sexist, but we won't go there. I will say that they had men and women's clothing, and I'm not even joking, when we first went in the clothing section, I just assumed they only had men's. <laughs> Although, like, I guess everything is unisex, like, what makes it a man's shirt? Actually, do women's shirt have, like, more room for boobs? I don't know. Oh, for tits and hooters and knockers? Yeah, do they? Probably, they probably need room for their milkers. Bitch, you know I'm gonna download the Tractor Supply app and see Kaylee Underwood in Las Vegas. Okay. Boo boo, it was Miranda Lambert. And I actually know that I'm a fan of Miranda Lambert. Gunpowder and lead, stream it. Oh, the house that built me if you want a little crying moment. What's another one? <gasps> Fastest girl in town. She has actually has, she has so many bops. I actually, honestly, I glanced at the photo for half of a second and I saw a blonde girl that was country and I assumed it was Kelly Underwood. Sorry for generalizing. While looking through Tractor Supply, because we literally looked at everything there, basically, I realized that there was a bunch of shit that I didn't know what it was. Like, there's whatever Lucas is holding, and then there was also a big slinky thing. <coughs> I'm not even trying to act like, oh my gosh, I'm... So, I don't even know how to do anything. I just actually didn't know what any of this was. And like, I swear no one knows what it does. It isn't just there because like, someone's gonna buy it because they think it's gonna fix the house and in reality it does jack shit. Yeah, I think we can all agree. Most of these products are what you could classify as fake. This don't, they aren't real. I just don't believe it. <laughs> okay, let's go, I'm scared. What's inside this tank? Honestly, I don't know, it's gonna explode or something. Okay. I think we were in this section where I don't even know what you call these things, but it brought back a memory from a year ago when I was moving and we had to use our dad's truck and he was so mad because I ruined all of his. Yeah. Oh yeah, the whole store just kind of reminded me of our dad. Him making me help him do something in the shed. And like the whole time we just like, Thing says I'm doing it wrong. So yeah. Bombless AT ATV sprayer. Tsunami DQ. Total vegetable control. Cage wire. Lamb milk replacer. Big green tractor, we can go fast. There was this rope that was attached to the ceiling and then it was attached to something on the floor of the store and I thought I should note this. What the fuck does this do? Like actually. Like at first it kind of made me feel like people are trying to kill themselves but no one was. So I was like what is it for then? Chickens at the store. Oink. Chickens, baby chicks. Moo! I was telling Lucas, let's buy a few and put them in the fryer and have chicken nuggets for dinner. But then he told me that you're not supposed to eat little chickens, but... So I didn't buy any, but I wanted to. I actually tried to convince Jacob for this video we could buy every single one of the birds there and release them somewhere safe, like a McDonald's parking lot. But he said no. So yeah. Take that up with him. Some of the animal food literally looked so good. Like we were tempted to get some of this horse food. They had like horse donuts, horse muffins, horse effing cookies. Like they have a Girl Scout cookie section just for horses. And also the bird food. We used to own two cockatiels, our family did. So I remember that some bird food, it looks like a granola bar. And I always have wanted to try it. it just looks so good and tasty. This is what mommy gets. Actually not this, something similar. Sorry for lying. Oh my gosh. They had flashlight for horses. Flashlights for horses. I mean, I guess they gotta get their jollies out, so whatever. Don't make it weird. Yes, Tractor Supply has a big outdoor section, but we didn't go out there because it's rainy. And plus, everything out there kind of looked boring to me. Nothing out there was as sophisticated as me, so I feel like I wouldn't fit in. We noticed that the middle section was kind of for chicks, like girlies. It kind of had like the vibe of like, oh, like I saw this on Pinterest, like little cute trinkets, like a little cute cooler that kind of looks old fashioned, like, you know, stuff for your GF. Bless this nest. 
I do have to say, wind chimes remind me of Ohio Powell. Wanna hear a joke? Yes. <laughs> what do you call an entrance that hun's going? I don't know. A huntress? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a special, Netflix. I used to always think that my testicles were the most famous bowels in the world, but actually these bowels are the most famous bowels in the world. So many memories with them. Then we checked out at the checkout place and got the F out of there. It was a splendid time if I do say so myself. All right, we'll feed you guys later. I'm taking a shit. What's gonna come out? <laughs> Chocolate <laughs> $42 was spent at Tractor Supply. Let's see what we got with that $42. Maybe you have to like bend it. You know how people like they milk cows? They like you have to kind of like twist the nipple a little bit. Mmm. That's cool. It feels like I'm doing an OnlyFans content type shit. <laughs> okay. Linda, this is like your childhood. Come on, you used to breastfeed. Oh, uh, I think it brings back like, it's kind of traumatic. She misses her mom. Sorry. Ew. Good thing I mean, you bought this. Yeah, I don't really have any memories of me breastfeeding off my mom, but maybe drinking out of this will trigger subconscious memories of me breastfeeding from my mom and make me feel at home again if I'm lost in the world. That's what I would guess. Nipples, nipples, nipples. Free-range chicken poop lip junk. Grandpa says, if you got dry lips, put chicken poop on them so you won't lick them. Contains no poop. Like the whole thing is like poop. I was honestly hoping it would contain poop. My lips aren't even chapped, but might as well try it. They also had um chicken poop lipstick. Oh, it smells good. This is a good one because it actually, you can feel it on your lips. Mm -hmm. Essential oily. Mm -hmm. It has um, two essential oils, lavender and sweet orange. I'm gonna say it, chicken poop is cool as shit. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> we got a farmer's almanac. It has been used for like so many years apparently to like tell Farmers when to plant their plants and shit like that. Yeah. And what the weather's gonna be like, basically. Isn't it based on like really old methods or something? Like what they used to do back before there was a forecast and weather and like they would predict the whole year. Kind of like witchcraft vibes in a way. Exclusive mathematical and astrological formula that relies on sunspot activity, tidal activity, astrology and many other factors. It also says useful with a pleasant degree of humor. So there's like, I guess some humor scattered in here. <laughs> like, let's see if it predicted the weather where we live accurately this year. It said the snowiest periods for the Midwest would be late December to early January to mid February. Was that even true? It didn't even really snow this year. Yeah, it says April and May will be warmer and drier than normal. It's literally raining today in May, so. Yeah, I really hope this isn't true. It says like the average temperatures for the summer are 75 degrees, 78 and 75. Like, bitch, I want it to be 90. I want it to be like 100. So I think it might have flopped for this. Yeah, because if I know right, like, isn't there some years where it's super accurate and then some years where it just flaps? And yeah. this year might be a flap year. Oh, do you want to hear a riddle? 
Yeah. Ever wonder why the sun lightens our hair, but darkens our skin? Honestly, not, but why? Um, I actually don't know where the answers are. <laughs> What's the answer to the fucking little? It doesn't say. Huh? Oh, I think these are just like funny things. Doctors call what they do practice. Like, it's just like funny little jokes. Like, isn't that funny how like, it's called a practice, but it's like, you better not be practicing on me, doctor. You know? This is true. There isn't a mouse flavored cat food. And they eat mouses or mice. These people are jokes, those clowns. Oh, this one's good. The man who invests all your money is called a broker. He's broke. <laughs> this is actually, I like this. This one is might make some psychic twins fans mad. I'll say it anyway. Just don't come for me in the comments, you guys. I didn't write this. <laughs> you ever notice? You never see a headline. Psychic wins lottery. <gasps> if they were psychic, they would. Mic drop. Maybe they just don't care about money, okay? So shut up. Okay, there's a bunch of ads. It's like I paid $9 for a bunch of fucking ads. Wait, when you actually think of magazines, why do they have so many fucking ads? You have to pay for the magazine. I know, they're already making money from, that's like me writing a book and half the book is ads. Jupiter is gonna be in Saturn's return. But I don't know what any of that means. I do like the idea of a farmer's almanac. When I first heard about a farmer's almanac years ago, I was like, that's, Cool. Cause it's like cool predicting the future. But although like, it seems like it didn't predict well this year. But that's fine, next year. Candy, candy, candy. They did sell leases, but they also sold two off-brand leases types candy. At first I thought they had something against Reese's. Like the owners of Tractor Supply got in a fight with them, but they also do sell Reese's. So why so many? Cause I've never seen these brands before. Mm -hmm. Smoothie, and then also Malo Cup. Mm -hmm. Like it looks homemade in a way. Wait, is the outside peanut um, butter? Is the whole thing peanut butter? Oh, maybe butterscotch, I think. Cheers. Mmm. It's like a butterscotch thing, Majig, with mm. peanut butter in the middle. Just like a scotch room. <gasps> I really enjoyed that. It was good, but I think I like Lisa's butter. Now a whipped clean cup. This one, for some reason, I'm not looking forward to. I feel like it's gonna be boring. I get what you're saying. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa, I'm kinda sloppy. When I'm holding something this shape, I'm expecting peanut butter, but it is cool. This was my favorite though. I like Melo top butter. I'll keep these, you keep those. Mm. <laughs> Tractor supply. It's all about growing your own plants. Kind, I mean, not actually, but kinda. And they had a bunch of plants and we got carrots. So we're gonna go carrots. I know, I was, ex I was excited you got this because I want to make chicken wings tonight and have carrots on the side. You, I always forget that, like, you can make, you can grow your own. But I always think like, I have to go to Walmart and get them. No, this is cheaper anyway. Yeah. That's a thing. Little life hack. Are there directions? Uh, no, but I think I know what I'm doing. Oh, perfect. That's crazy. Oh my God, I'm scared. Like how many will pop out? Like we'll have to start starting off the microwave because it'll start overflowing. <laughs> I know. Okay. And then should we like sit for like 10 seconds? Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, the eggs are hatched. Wait. Are you joking? Wait, we did everything right. There's no carrots. Do we get a dud package? Are you effing kidding me, you guys? Tractor Supply sells duds. You would think that if you're buying carrot seeds, they'd be real carrot seeds, but these must not be. Was this a decoration or what? Or did we actually get scammed? I mean, they are showing photos of these plants in mud, but I mean, I'm not gonna buy mud. I can't. Whatever. I mean, we can just eat the chicken wings without carrots. So you fine with that? Cause I guess yeah, I don't want to go to the store anymore. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe it tastes different than normal waddle. Oh yeah, I was actually thinking that. Kind of tractorish. It tastes like normal waddle with a hint of um, man hand. You know when like these men have like a bunch of calluses on oh, it? Oh yeah. It's like they put their hand in it. It has like, yeah, flannel vibe. 
I like truck. Crystal Light should create a brand. Truck, no, create a flavor called Tractor Supply. I'm tired of raspberry flavor. I want like a a man hand dirt flannel type waddle, and mm. that's what this is. Pussy dripping like Aquafina. Pussy. Sky streak. One propeller powered plane. This was at the checkout, and I was like, "Let's get it. See what it is." It says that this can soar over 50 feet. So you put this through there. Oh, see a little man in there? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and then we have a rebel band. Okay. <gasps> Get it? Cause that will help you can climb. wind it up. Oh, you wind it up. Let's try this now. Uh, hey! I have this bitch wind the fuck up and let's see. Yes, I actually thought that was cool, but I feel like I can make it better. Then it all wound up. We haven't gotten it to go 50 feet up in the air though, or even go it's that far. It's said to throw it against the breeze though, so it is our fault for being inside. This time I'm actually just gonna throw it, you know? You know, you can call me a simple man, but I thought that was pretty cool. They don't make toys like that anymore. I know, you know, like, Kids don't need these little tablets that ruin their brain. <laughs> they can just use that. <laughs> Candy apple story steed. This is like a healthy mineral supplement for horses. Maybe you just put this in their horse cage and they lick at it all day. But the thing about it is that pe these people, bitches I'm gonna say, spend money on all these like vitamins, like vitamin C, all this shit. But I think this was $9 and it would probably last, if you did like five licks a day, it's gonna last forever. Yeah, do you want me to tell you what vitamins it has? Tell me. Calcium, Good iron, for depression, good for anxiety. Zinc, good magnesium. Good for arthritis. Iodine. Good for erections. Yeah, and it also tastes like apple. It's like you dumbasses are buying multivitamins when you can buy this. That's the thing is that I don't get mad often, but I'm actually gonna say, if you buy multivitamins, when you know that this is at the store, you're actually a dumb ass. Do dumbasses raise you? Is that why you're a fucking dumbass? You might be thick, but you're dumb as hell. Every morning I eat a cup of oatmeal, so I put this black right by my oatmeal, so I remember to lick it before eating. Oh, oh it's so grabby. Oh. oh yeah, this is my first day of getting my vitamins in. Mm. Okay, now I can make my oatmeal. Another day, another lick. <sighs> I'm, this actually makes me feel so much better every day. I feel so good about life. I do have a disappointment with that black of vitamins because it didn't actually taste like apple. It just tasted like saltiness. Just because horses were only eating it, they could just make all these false claims. That's, That's why thing. you need to test your animal's food before they eat it. If they say it tastes like bacon, try and see if it tastes like bacon because you might have a lawsuit in your hands. I'm just joking, I'm not gonna sue, but I would assume horses have similar taste. I mean, I have no idea how taste buds work, but like if it tastes like, doesn't taste like apple to me, why would it not, why would it taste like apple to horses? Um, there's nothing else to try from Tractor Supply. Yeah, That's it was, all. I feel like it was a success. I, like I said, I kind of thought that it was a fake store in the beginning. Turns out it's a real store, real people go, and they have some good shit. Thanks for watching Tractor Supply stands. Subscribe to both of us because we both are Tractor Supply stands. Bye! Bye! Bye.